This is an altar sacrifice. So I'm going to sacrifice being provoked by a narcissist, which represents the snare of the fowler. So what happens when you interact with a narcissist, they will persecute you, falsely accuse you, conduct smear campaigns against you, and slander your character. What happens is you react and you want to engage with this person. So what you're doing is you're taking your power, you're giving your worship to the narcissist and putting an altar to their life like this altar. When you engage and because they provoke you, what happens is they have set a snare of the fowler. It's a spider web that's invisible. It looks nice and shiny and looks really fun, but it will catch you. It is literally the snare of the fowler. So you take your emotion, your slander, and your persecution, and you put it at this altar so that you don't get caught. The emotions that you have when you're ensnared with a fowler is that you want to be vindicated. You want justice. You want to right the wrongs. You want to take the false narrative that's being, that you're being falsely accused of and run to the narcissist and shout on top of a mountain and say, hey, look, this is not true. This is not who I am. What you're doing to me is persecution and false accusation. So I take those emotions of vindication, the emotion of validation, and I give that to God because the narcissist is not going to help me. He can't take those emotions from me and the narcissist will never validate the truth. The narcissist will never give you justice and the narcissist will never give you closure. The only thing you can do is give those emotions to the altar and trust that God will do those things for you. God will vindicate you. God will serve justice. God will be truth.